This mass is offered for the following intentions. Man's mind mass for the soul of George Alva and for all the intentions in the mass box. Our entrance in is number 226, 226. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let all their songs employ. While fields and floods, rock hills and plains, we beat their sounding joy, we beat their sounding joy, we beat, repeat their sounding joy. A very good morning to you, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. We also offer this Mass for all your intentions. We pray in a very special way for all those who celebrate their birthdays and wedding anniversaries today, all those who are sick and suffering, all those in need of God's mercy and compassion. And in a very special way, we pray for Father Jijo, MSFS, who celebrates the 10th anniversary of his ordination today. We pray that the Lord may continue to bless him as he continues to serve God and his people. We pause and pray for our intentions. And let us begin this Eucharist in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, on this feast of the Holy Innocents, as we pray for the well-being of all our children, that God may always protect them from the snares of the evil one, and keep them in his loving care, we are also reminded that God has a plan and a purpose for each of our lives. And, and we are just passing through this life, striving and doing our best to fulfill this purpose in this life's journey in order that we may achieve the joys of eternal bliss in our Father's heavenly abode. As we gather here to celebrate this Eucharist, let us ask the Lord to help us live our lives according to his plan and his ways fulfilling the purpose and the path that he has ordained for each one of us. We pause and pray for this. And for the many times we have failed to live according to God's ways, together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Together. Lord, O oh Lord, have mercy. Lord, O oh Lord, have mercy. Christ, 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 have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, O oh Lord, have mercy. Lord, O oh Lord, have mercy. And 
during this festive time, let us praise God together by singing the Gloria. All together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God. Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying. Grant, we pray, that the faith in you, which we confess with our lips, may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. If the Lord had not been on our side when people rose against us, 
then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled? Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us, over our head would have swept the raging waters. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Almighty God, cleanse my mind, my lips, and my heart, that I may worthily announce your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the wise men had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And he arose and took the child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Out of Egypt I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious and he sent and killed all the male children in Bethlehem and in all that region who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had ascertained from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she refused to be comforted because they are no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, the spread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Together. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of joy together. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Pray. 
pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants, and purify us as we faithfully serve these your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim together. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Ho, 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 Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Ho, 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 Hosanna, Hosanna. indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith together. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
Cardinal Oswald Gracious, with all the clergy and the consecrated. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles, with the holy innocents, with Saint Francis de Sales, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Together. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing the Our Father together. Our Father, Father who art in heaven. Who art in Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth as it is. On earth as it is. In heaven. In heaven. Give us this day. Our daily bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not and lead us not into temptation, into temptation but deliver us but deliver us from evil from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom, for the kingdom, the power and the glory, the power and the glory are yours now, are yours now, and forever, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, "Peace I leave you, my peace I give you." Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever in devil. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other holy and a meaningful sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us make our spiritual communion with the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Hymn number 287, 287. Pray for our families, our loved ones, and all those in need of God's mercy and compassion all together. Almighty God, keep our homes and all who dwell in it safe from all harm of the evil spirit. Preserve us in mind, body, and soul. Deliver our homes from fire, storm, and destruction of any kind. May our homes be a sanctuary of love, a place of growth in the likeness of Jesus and a school of every Christian virtue. Holy Immaculate Mother of God and glorious Saint Joseph, protector and patron of our homes, save and protect us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these your saints, who, though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. 
May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy time, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of his Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and the heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou Send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. An act of contrition. My God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, I love thee above all things with all my soul, with all my heart, with all my strength. I love thee because thou art infinitely good and worthy of being loved. And because I love thee, I repent with all my heart of having offended thee. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Amen. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Invocations to Our Lady, we fly to thy patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but ever deliver us from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, thou whose very name inspires confidence. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may love and serve God with all my heart. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may never neglect prayer. Help me, O loving Mother. In temptations against the holy virtue of purity. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may quickly rise again should I have the misfortune to fall into sin. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may courageously resist the seductions of the world, evil companions, bad books and films. Help me, O loving Mother that I may often and devoutly receive the sacraments and fulfill my Christian duties and the duties of my state. Help me, O loving mother. That I may be patient and resigned in all trials and troubles of life. Help me, O loving mother. In sickness and pain, in poverty and distress. Help me, O loving mother. That I may not delay my conversion from day to day. Help me, O loving mother. That I may ever love and serve thee and invoke thy assistance. Help me, O loving mother. That I may be able to lead others to love, serve, and pray to thee. Help me, O loving mother. When death is near and I am about to pass into eternity. Help me, O loving mother. To my last hour, to my last breath, do thou watch over me. Help me, O loving mother. Pray for us, O mother of perpetual succor. That we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Almighty, Almighty and merciful God, who in, who in order, order to assist, assist the human race, has willed the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary to become the mother of thy only begotten Son, Son. grant we beseech thee that by her intercession we may avoid the contagion of sin and serve thee with a pure heart through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Novena prayers altogether. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, behold me a miserable sinner at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee called by all, the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ, 
Stretch forth thy hand to me, a poor sinner, who recommend and dedicate myself to thee as thy perpetual servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge, as I believe, of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen, because I have not recourse to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know that thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear in the le le falling, I should cease to call upon thee, and so should lose my soul. This then is the grace I seek from thee, and I beg of thee as far as I know how and can to obtain it for me, namely in the assaults of hell, always to have recourse to thee and to say to thee, O Mary, help me, Mother of Perpetual Succor, suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Mother of Perpetual Succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of Perpetual Succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of Perpetual Succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, succor the miserable, help the faint-hearted, cheer those that weep, pray for the people, be the advocate of the clergy, intercede for all devout women, let all feel thine aid who implore thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us, O Lady, a refuge. O helper in need and tribulation. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us thy mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate to be our mother, ever ready to succor us, grant we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore her maternal aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of thy redemption, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Mother dear, oh, pray for me, whilst far from heaven and thee, I wander in a fragile bark o'er life's tempestuous sea. Oh, virgin So bright in bliss above, protect thy child and cheer my path with thy sweet smile of love. Mother dear, oh pray for me and never see. Till in heaven eternally Thy love and bliss I share. The member are all together. Remember, Remember O most, most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that never that was, was it known, known that anyone, anyone who fled, fled to thy protection, protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Lord, hear our prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that these thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you to defend you, within you to preserve you, before you to guide you, after you to guard you, above you to bless you, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Succor, may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mary, from thy sacred image, with those eyes so sadly sweet, 
Not 